I'm Hugh and Hook, and this is The Real Review. The wine we're tasting today is the Tasmanian Ninth Island Sparkling Rosé Non-Vintage, made from Chardonnay, Pinot Noir, Pinot Meunier. So the backstory of this wine is that um, Ninth Island is the second label of Piper's Brook Vineyard, which is one of the most important wineries in the Tassie wine industry. Um, Piper's Brook established 1974, um, was one of the forerunners of the rebirth of the Tassie wine industry. Um, Ninth Island is, um, it came along a little bit later, it's named after a little island that's off the no north coast of Tassie in Bass Strait, very close to where the winery is located. And this wine is designed as an inexpensive, not very complex, fruit-driven style of wine, and um, uh, you know that's a really good value wine at $25. And, and how does it taste, this wine? Let's have a, a bit of a look here. Um, the first thing you notice about this wine is the colour. It's a beautiful light salmon pink colour. It's not fresh pink, youthful pink. It's showing a little bit of de development to it, almost a coral pink colour. And um, the, the bouquet reinforces that. It's not just simple fresh fruit, but it is very much a primary fruit wine. But it smells like more. It's got raspberry, strawberries, all kinds of um, summer berries, but um, not just simple shrill primary fruit. It's got extra character to it from time on leaves. It's probably only had about a year on leaves, so it's quite a short period on leaves, but it's, um, it, it adds something to the character of the wine. Nice creamy mouthfeel, good sparkle, good mousse, um, lovely flavours, soft and round, quite light, not too demanding. And for, for wine of its station, it's quite remarkably clean and dry on the finish. A lot of times you find these wines a little bit sweet. This wine's got a lovely clean finish. It makes you want to have more. Um, Tazzy sparkling can be quite high in acid, but this one is not. It's beautifully balanced. It's perfectly designed for drinkability. Lovely. So this wine we rated 95 points out of 100, which is a gold ribbon score and a very, very strong mark for a wine of its price at its station. A remarkable value, it has won gold medals at the Tasmanian Wine Show in the non-vintage category. Uh, it's always done very, very well for itself. Uh, we suggest drinking it straight away. Don't keep it for anything longer than you need to. It's designed to be drunk straight away. It gets a top value sticker from the Real Review and um, 25 bucks, pretty hard to beat. So we always ask the winemaker for a food match. The winemaker here is the consulting sparkling winemaker, Natalie Fryer, who has made herself famous working at Jantz, which she worked at Jantz and, and created those sparkling styles at Jantz for many years. Now she's working by herself and doing some consulting, partly to Ninth Island and Piper's Brook. And uh, she, with the chief winemaker for Piper's Brook, Luke Whittle, have to put their heads together and decided on something pretty safe and pretty local. Uh, Tasmanian na native Angazi oysters, and um, no, just a bit of sprinkle of, um, of pepper and salt and some lemon juice on the top of that, and you'd be, you'd be home and hose. It'd be great. So cheers to that. 